In just a few weeks, this once populated coastline will be empty. The bass this time of year are hungry, and the unpredictable nature of the fall often produces strong storm winds, pushing the bait fish close to shore. Where there is bait, there are big fish. And if you can find a way to fight through the wind, the surf casting opportunities can be incredible. Today, I am meeting with my good friend Dave Steves from the Goose Hummock Shop in Orleans, Massachusetts. Dave and I are going to explore a stretch of coastline here on Cape Cod and see if we can land some big bass from the beach. Oh, there we go. That's a good fish. Nice job, right? In. That is a big fish. Holy cow. Wow, look at that run. Screaming. This is a really nice fish. Boy, this is what fall's all about. So lucky to have these guys swimming along the beaches here on Cape Cod. Do not take this for granted, that's for sure. Dave alerted me to birds working above the crashing waves further up the beach. We decided to investigate. All right, I just looked over my shoulder like this and I'm like, wow, that's a huge group of birds real tight to the beach and the surf. So that looks to me like there's a lot of bait and hopefully some fish under them. Yeah, so one thing to always keep an eye out for when you're fishing the beach or out on the boat is birds because they often lead the way to bass and bluefish. They're picking up the scraps that those bass and blues are pushing to the surface. Yeah. And these guys are right in the, the white water. Oh, nice. Dave's on. I haven't seen him yet. Oh, that's there a bass. Is. Saw his tail come up. Oh, yeah, that's a beautiful fish. Woo. There's albies on Cape Cod, big bluefish, big giant tuna, and awesome stripers. Man, oh man. Woo! 